Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Tupelo Bay Golf Center, where I have my uh, South Carolina golf school. And today is Tuesday, and Tuesday is Training Aid Tuesday. Now, I mentioned yesterday we're going to do a recap. Well, these are my four favorite training aids. There's a fifth one that we can't use here, which is the putting mirror, which I use with teaching my putting. But here we have the elbow tactic, which you can hear clicks when I bend my elbow. We have the wrist tactic, which bends when I cup my wrist. We have the swing guide, which helps me get the club on plane. If I lay it off, it's not going to fit. If I do it there, it's not going to fit. It's, that little cup piece here is going to fit right on my arm when I have it on plane. When I come through this way, if I do the correct release, it's going to come back on my arm here. On the downswing, it's going to help me maintain the angle because if I feel this here the whole time, I can try and hold that for as long as I can. If I cast here, I can feel that move away. So it helps me with that and of course it helps me with the release. Then I have the power stance. One of the training aids that I absolutely love. It helps me with ball position, so I can always have that correct. It has helps me with alignment, so that's always correct. This right foot fits where it pushes my knee in a little bit, helps me keep the weight on the inside. Then I have this front foot, which prevents this foot from spinning out as a lot of amateurs tend to do. So I don't want at the top of my backswing to hear any clicking there or clicking there. I want that to be there and then I want the ID on my arm. So that would be the position. Then I know I'm in the right position. If I go through here, I know I'm in the right position over here as well. So when I'm practicing, if I'm a training aid junkie, I can use all four. It's going to give me some feedback. Think about whatever your issue is in your golf school. If you tend to break the wrist down either that way or I get a lot of students go back and cup the wrist going back here because they want to get more wrist cock and instead of cocking the wrist this way up, they do that and of course it also then opens the club face so you want if you have issues with that the wrist tactic is the answer if you go and collapse at the top like this or coming through here you get your chicken wing then the arm tactic is the answer if you have trouble swinging the club on plane a lot of amateurs tend to get the club too far behind them then the swing guide is the answer and this is you should use this all the time. Every golfer should have a power stance because it's going to help you with alignment and ball position, which are two of the very important things. You're going to develop a consistent golf swing. So there you have it, my four favorite training aids. If any part of your game needs work and you can use one of those, check out my website. They're all available for you. Thanks for watching.